Hi, I'm Allison, one of the memory experts at Crucial. We get a lot of questions about memory speeds. That's not surprising because it's a complicated technology. But let's see if we can demystify some things. Memory has changed over the years. In early computers, memory processed data out of sync with the processor. Now, by sharing the system clock, memory processes data in sync with the processor and the front side bus. So today's memory is designated by two numbers. One relates to the front side bus speed, and the other relates to the maximum theoretical bandwidth. For instance, the name DDR2400 refers to a 400 megahertz front side bus speed. But that same module can also be called PC2-3200, which refers to its maximum data transfer rate of 3200 megabytes per second. As technology advances and modules get faster, slower speeds are discontinued. However, newer modules are backward compatible with their slower cousins. That means it is usually safe to add faster modules to a computer that was designed to run slower memory. But keep in mind that your memory will only operate as fast as the slowest memory module, or at the maximum speed of the system's front side bus, whichever is lower. Now let's talk memory types. There are four main memory types, SDRAM, DDR, DDR2, and DDR3. Each memory type uses its own module design and each motherboard is only built to accept one type. Therefore, you cannot mix memory types within the same system. For example, if your system is designed for DDR2, you cannot install DDR3 modules. Have I confused you yet? If so, that's okay. That's why we're here. To be sure you find the right memory for your computer, you can give us a call or use the Crucial Memory Advisor or the Crucial System Scanner, available only at crucial.com. For more details about memory speeds, see our article about memory speeds and compatibility at this link. Or for more videos like this one, visit Crucial's YouTube channel.